Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a number puzzle. It says that there are 90 students in a college and uh, on the first day there are two boys, Aman Mathur and Rohit Patel. They found a girl, Nana Kapoor, and wanted to guess her roll number. Okay. So first Aman asked Nana, is your roll number a perfect square? And second question, is your roll number more than 50? So based on these two questions, he realized that he knew Nana's roll number. Okay. But he was incorrect as Nana answered only the second question correctly. Now, how can one know the roll number since there are 90 students by just asking two questions? So the possibility is like if suppose she says that no to this answer, right? So that means that there are many numbers possible. Because uh, till 90, there are too many numbers and very few of them are perfect squares. Okay. Uh, but if she says yes to this question, then there, uh, there become very few possibilities. So that means she must have answered yes to the question, which was although wrong. Okay. And if she answers yes, so what are the possibilities that we will get? So the possibilities will be 1, 4, 9, 16. 25, 36, 49, 64, and 81. Okay. Now, he asks second question Is your roll number more than 50? Okay. And based on these two questions, he found that uh, he knew Nana's roll number. Suppose she says no to this question because he is assuming that she is answering both the questions correctly. So, if she says no to this uh, question, so there are these many possibilities. Okay. It will be difficult for him to find out, right? But if she says yes to this question, there are only two possibilities, 64 and 81. Now, how can he find the answer to the question? Because uh, he must have be he must have been having one of these two numbers as his roll number, right? Suppose Aman's roll number is 64. So, Nana's roll number will be 81 and vice versa. Okay, so that is why he is able to find out her roll number because there are only two perfect squares more than 50. So, uh, she answered yes to both the questions. This answer is false and this answer is true. Okay, now what happens uh, that the second person uh, Rohit asks Nana two questions. Is your roll number a perfect cube? And is your roll number less than 20? Okay. Now, after getting the answers, he realized he knew Nana's roll number. Okay. But he was also incorrect as Nana answered only the second question correctly. Okay. So, that means this was false and this was true. Okay. Now, again, uh, we will use this thing uh, that, uh, of course, if she says, is your, is your roll number less than 20, uh, she must have answered no. Because we already know that she has answered this correctly and her roll number is more than 50. Okay. Now, if let's go to the first question, is your roll number a perfect cube? Again, she must have answered yes because there are fewer possibilities in this case, right? So, she answered yes and the possible responses are uh, like possible perfect cubes are these right second answer she says that less than 20 is no so that means her roll number is out of these two numbers as per rohit okay so again we will get the same possibilities let us say uh, rohit's roll number is uh, 27 then nana's will be 64 okay so we can have a possibility like this 27 and 64 and another possibility could be his roll number is 64 and Nana's roll number is 27. Okay, 64 and 27. That is another possibility. Okay. Now, this, uh, this cannot be possible because two people cannot have the roll number 64. Right. Okay. Now, it is given that uh, again the same thing happened that she answered uh, the second question correctly. First was incorrect. Now, Nana figured out that both Aman and Rohit had their roll numbers as perfect squares. Okay. She found out that both of them had perfect squares as roll number. Now, how is it possible to have both of them as perfect squares? Okay. Uh, see, uh, there are three possibilities. 
Now this case is not possible because uh, Rohit figured out 27 or 64, right? So this is not possible. Now if we consider this case, in this case Rohit's roll number is 27, okay, which is not a perfect square. And this case is possible because uh, like, so what they must have done is, so let us write them, there are two cases separately. Right, 27 and 64 and 64 and 27. Okay, so we are not considering all three. We are considering uh, these two people at a time. Okay, first response, this is not possible because Rohit's roll number is not a, uh, it's, it's a perfect square, right? So Rohit's roll number can be perfect square only if it is 64. Okay, so that means this cannot be, uh, this cannot be 64. Okay, and uh, Aman guessed 64 because Aman must have had 81 as the roll number. Okay, then only he can guess 64 because uh, that is the only second perfect square. So that means this is the the thing that uh, they guessed uh, and her roll number is not 27. Okay, so Aman is 81. So the question asks Aman's roll number that is 81. Rohit's roll number is 64. Okay, now. Uh, and uh, Nana told them that the sum of the roll numbers of all three of them is a perfect square. So Aman plus Rohit, we get 145, right, which is greater than 12 square. Now if we take 13 square, that is 169, okay, so we will get Nana's roll number as 24. If we take 196, so we will get her roll number as 51. If we take 225, her roll number will be 80. Okay. Now, uh, if we cannot go beyond this, because 256 will give us greater than 90 students. Okay. Now, we know that, uh, that her roll number is more than 50, because she answered yes and it was correct. So that means this is also not possible. So the third question asks that how many uh, how many values are possible for Nana's roll number? So we can see that uh, from this that there are two possible values of Nana's roll number, right? So either fifty one or eighty. Then the next question is if Nana's roll number is the least among them, what is the sum of their roll numbers? So if Nana's roll number is least, that will be fifty one. Okay, so the sum will be 51 plus 81 plus 64, that is 196. Okay, so uh, <coughs> that solves the question and uh, these are the answers to the questions associated with the set.